Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Prometheus. With me, Demonox, when we last left off, we're in the kingdom in between, apparently. And, um, uh, we've had our ship destroyed, and we're here. That's as much of the story as I can put together. The game does not explain. They're like a gun to me, I think. You don't have a crouch function, by the way. There we go. Sometimes playing ring around the posies is the best way to do this. Other times it's just better to ambush them. My um, gamers are very spastic reloaders. I know it's not a very well liked term, but we are absolutely habitual reloaders. We will reload continuously because we get fights and like that, and we then think we need we need to be able to actually fight back. There we go. This is why zombie games never made much sense to me. Yes, you would say yes, the zombies go and they get you. But like, you see, you, my shotgun here tore that zombie boy to shreds. It's not a case of all, I'm just being... being I don't want to go to that thing. See them drop. Don't assume they're dead. But yeah, if you have a sh shotgun like that, then a zombie horde, no offense, isn't a threat, it's target practice. Well, an assault shotgun will absolutely tear a zombie horde to pieces.
as inaccurate as it is. That looks like a thing to grab. This looks like a thing to run around and do. Oh, that looks like a secret. Okay, we get all. What I for? Forming, kill me. <laughs> Some ammo crates. Double check back here in case someone comes out. Oh, actually, there's only two people left on the map. We kill two more dudes, we're fine. More golden. for the rest of the asteroid. Wait, we're on an asteroid? Huh. And these guys apparently come from the Chaos Dimension. Kinda makes sense, to be honest. Chaotic. But if I see someone screaming, I'm Nurgle, I'm running the other direction. I saw what happened to those guys. They look fun. I can't wait to go play with those guys. How many guys are on this map? 127. Hey, hold on, I'm just going to adjust something in here because I might get set up here so I can see the screen just a little better. It's a dark game. I haven't found out how to brighten the option, brighten it up. Maybe the main screen, main option screen. I don't know. But uh, yes, we are here. We have an auto map. We have two big fellas down there, which will be. Really... 
I want to jump in the head. Got Mario on him. Thank you. Don't like you at all. Thankfully, they a couple of shotgun shells to the head and did the job done. Guys who are really, yeah, really hard. Little guys who are just a little annoying. What looks like all floating in the middle of the field of death. I got it. Sometimes I can platform. Uh, most times I can't. Two separate ammo clips. One for each button. I don't know what that is, but I've just done something there. This ball game when you do that. Again, see, I don't see how zombies can be frightening or scary. Now, in a medieval sense, if you're in medieval times, yes, they would be threatening and scary. You know, they'd be a great threat, but from modern day shooters? They're not terrifying because, um, well. We have machine guns, and shotguns, and other evil things with rhyme with gun. Yep. He's scary because he's, yeah, he's big. That's a gold key card. Hmm. Yellow card, needed. Yeah, 
That's the thing, these guns share the same ammo. Turn the thingy up in here to get the Yelky card. Me thinking this is a boss arena. Arena fight. I'm gonna go fight a lot of things. Because, um, feels like it. I feel like when I run this, I'm gonna get into a fight. I could actually see them. I don't know. 
bit of a beating there. Woohoo! After I got beaten. And I have used a lot of ammo. Thankfully, there is ammo here. These guns, these machine guns, are very, very greedy when it comes to their ammo. Cheap game. That's very cheap. Putting a guy right behind the door. Not in there. next time folks when we come back we shall continue the research facility so until then folks until then i'll catch you all later see ya